Rise and shine on Australia's Vision Christian Radio. You're on Rise and Shine with Fel and Matt all across Australia, and we love catching up with Aussie artists. Joining us today, we're catching up with Sophie Abraham, who's from the Gold Coast, who's got some new music she's released. How are you doing, Sophie? Good, thank you. I'm great. Now, it's nice to, to meet you uh, by Zoom today. And uh, I've uh, heard about you from our good friend Karen Hunt, who's uh, one of the announcers here at Vision. And uh, my co-host here, Fel, is a part of King's Church uh, but you girls haven't met before, have you? No, we're different campuses. <laughs> so I, uh, this is very exciting. Nice to meet you, Sophie. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Isn't it funny in this day and age, you can be in a church and one of the worship leaders, you've never met them before because yeah. it's many cam- Is it like five campuses? There's King's a church? few campuses yeah. around. Mm. So very yeah. exciting. But Sophie, yeah. you've, um, when we hear this a lot, this, we're worship leaders. They are able to release albums, mm. and uh, we're talking about winners today. It feels to me like this is a bit of a winning day for you, Sophie, because is it right that you're releasing your album today? Yes, it's out now, <gasps> which is very strange to say, but, yeah, it's on, on every platform, so it's very exciting. Wow. Very cool. Well, let's find out a bit of your story. Are you from the Gold Coast originally? Where are you from? Yeah, so I grew up on the Gold Coast. My family um, immigrated from England, and so um, I've lived a little bit here and there, but mainly grew up on the Gold Coast, and I've been at King's since I was like three years old. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I've been here forever. <laughs> so, I yeah, that's that. basically, I've yeah, grown up on the Gold Coast, and this is the only place I've really called home, so yeah. And you have, have you been a worship leader since you were three? Or? <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, as soon as they could get me on stage, I was uh, worship leading. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. And what has God popped on your heart to put together into this album? Can you tell us a bit about it? Yeah, so um, I got an amazing sponsorship for this album from someone from our church because they knew that I've written songs since I was 14 years old. Wow. And so um, this has kind of been like a 10 years of like songwriting um, and I called it sunlight because that's really the way that God's presence makes me feel. Um, when I'm in His presence, I feel really warm and I feel um, held and just, yeah, I just thought that would be a really great name for the album. Yeah. And so, yeah, it's basically 10 years of songwriting and 10 songs in the album and that's what it is <laughs> oh very cool it's beautiful and tell us about how you write your songs do they come to you when you're surfing at the beach or mm. when you're climbing <laughs> a mountain or <laughs> in the middle of the night i, I love hearing from songwriters that's a good idea where, where you get your inspiration from yeah i think it's definitely developed when i was younger i would just um, be in my own secret time with God and just um, read scripture and write songs like that. But I think it's as time's gone on, it's kind of changed. So um, I'll just get melodies randomly and I'll just quickly put them in my voice memos and then I'll write a song with it later. Or I, I've had dreams before of songs, which has been wow. really cool. And then, um, you know, I'll come back to it in the morning of a voice memo and it's like the worst thing you've ever heard. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's all different, all different ways. But yeah. Do you play an instrument? As well, Sophie? Yeah, I play guitar. Not very well, but as long as I can write a song with it. Yes. <laughs> My husband's really the main guitarist. <laughs> <laughs> Um, my biggest writing and like songwriting influence was Brooke Fraser back mm-hmm. in the day. She, um, yeah, she's just amazing. And I just love the way all of her music sounds and yeah. the way it's like matured over time. So I feel like that's probably the biggest um, influence in my life was so, um, Brooke Fraser back in the day. But I would say um, so many people. Yeah, Maverick City is one of my top, mm-hmm. top people. <laughs> um, and I also love... Um, I also love Taya. Taya, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you see her when she came to the Gold Coast recently? Oh, no. I I didn't even realise it was on until it was already done. (laughs) Well, Taya was at at the Gold Coast Exhibition Centre with Will Graham, Billy Graham's grandson, and she did such a good job. She was so good because she was up first. Yeah. And I thought this is the toughest gig as being the beginning. That's right, yeah. And uh, she had music issues during it and she powered through. That's it. She was really good. It's good. And and I love that you love Brooke Fraser because she's changed her name now. It's confusing uh, for me that she changed her name. Lighterwood, I think it is. And, and, you know, I thought it's a good name, but I thought the first name, (laughs) what a wonderful name that was. Uh, Brooke Fraser, I thought it was, you know, that's one of her songs she wrote. Sophie, you're not planning on changing your name? 
Um, no, this is my changed name. Oh, oh there we go. She oh, did the same thing. You've Matt. got a pseudonym. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so Abraham, well, that's very biblical, yeah, Sophie. Abraham, you're going to yeah. choose one. That's yeah. a good one to choose. But yeah, Sophie, yeah. is Sophie your <laughs> correct first name? Yeah, yeah. It is. So, so you, so you are a Sophie, but you're now an Abraham. Oh, what would okay. you do as your other name, Matt? Like if we change Prater? Yeah, good question. Well, that's something to think about. Mm. Maybe we have a secret identity for you. Mm. I reckon I'd be <laughs> Matt Smith. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very secret. <laughs> Not like super or something. You well, wouldn't go with a power name. Yeah, well, Jones. Matt Power. <laughs> anyway, sorry, <laughs> Sophie, we digress. <laughs> and Sophie, tell us a bit about uh, when you perform. Uh, do you do uh, all original songs or do you do covers as well? Uh, do you just do worship? Uh, tell us about, you know, if, if people came to see you at a gig somewhere, uh, what, what kind of stuff do you do? Is it all worship? Um. It depends, I guess, what the gig is. Yeah. Um, I've well, I'm usually a worship leader, and so I'm not really used to performing, or yeah. um, I yeah. don't do that very often. And I guess that's something that'll probably change. Yep. But um, I used to do gigs like with friends, and um, that would just be you know all kinds of music. But yeah, I, I would say that I'm I'm just a worship leader, so I'm I don't know the way. Yeah, 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 good. <laughs> No, Very that's different. beautiful. Yeah. It's different, isn't it? Because worship leading, you don't see yourself as gigging, do no, you? No, that's right. It's no, really of course, yeah. It's all about God. Yeah. So. Mm. so if you, people want to find out more and see your album as it's released today, where should they go? What, what can they look for? So you can go to Spotify or you can go to Apple Music mm. and you can type up Sunlight, which is the name of the album, and my name, which is Sophie Abraham. Sophie, while we've got you, we're also talking today whether or not you've won anything growing up that's memorable. Yeah. Like I won grade five shot put and I'm very proud of that. I still, <laughs> I still, you know, eat out on that. My kids know about that. it and, and mm. grade three. And I actually, I didn't tell everyone, but came third in high jump, which oh. that's tricky. Yes. High jump. Yeah. What about you, Sophie? Did you have any like sporting oh. or it doesn't have to be sport? Maybe you're great at craft. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm not a great sports <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I do have one accomplishment that I always tell everyone. Yes. Um, so when I was like, maybe like six years old, um, I was in England with my cousin and she'd been horse riding for months mm. and we did, and I was only there for like, you know, a few weeks. And so I came along to her little horse camp and I accidentally beat her <gasps> in, <laughs> in that little horse competition and, and she was really upset and I felt really bad because she's older than me. And so that was my one achievement. I got first yeah. place in a horse competition. Wow. Well, well that is impressive. Yeah. And uh, if you've won up to cousin yeah. overseas, I, I mean, that's an international incident waiting yeah. to happen there. I bet your cousin really? wasn't happy because, like, you were just horsing around and you won. I mean, that's, oh, gee. You weren't even yeah. taking it seriously. <laughs> have you been welcomed back to the English family or have you been banished? Is that why you guys lived over here? Yeah, I think we were banished. <laughs> we did not take it well. <laughs> now, there is another connection that we may have here. Did oh. you ever know Elijah Winnington? Because he's been yes. in the Olympics. Uh, he yes. got silver the other day. Oh, true. Did you go to school with Elijah? Yeah, so he was in the grade below me. Yep. And so he was in um, Jarrell, my husband's grade. Yeah. And so, yeah, we know we know him. But, yeah, we were, were cheering him on. Yep. Um, yeah, he, it's amazing. I remember when last time when he went to the Olympics when we all, like, gathered at Kings and we were all um, watching him do his race. It was, it's amazing, yeah. Wow. And I can imagine you guys all singing, These are the days of Elijah. Really? Maybe, no one knows that song. Maybe not. Oh, anyway, yeah. I think we're too, we're too young for that, yeah. Too young. Okay, anyway. But they should have. Like, we could have done a cheer for him. <laughs> I mean, mate, it's so cool, though. Watching the Olympics is fun enough when it's yeah. um, other people, but when it's someone in your world, yeah. it makes it so real, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, it's so cool. Awesome. I, yeah, he's that. He's amazing. I can't believe he's done that well. It's amazing. So good. All right, well, we do have to go, but thank you so much for chatting with us today. Um, we'll edit this up and put it to air a bit later, and we'll put it yeah. on our podcast yeah, so yeah. you can share you can it and share promote it, if you it as want well. To as well. Oh, cool. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Um, thank and, you so much. And, and just before we go, one question I do like to ask uh, people. Oh, yes. Could you do a little bit of one of your songs for us a cappella this morning? I know you haven't done your vocal exercises and warmed up, but could you do just, you know, yeah. like 30 yeah. seconds? Okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh, this is so weird. <laughs> Uh, 
Fear is breaking off. Chains are loosening. Cause where your spirit is, there is freedom. Oh, yeah, Woo! beautiful. Thank you so much. Yay! Well done. Legend. <laughs> well done. Good on you. You, you, you got to step out when you're, you're releasing an album. And yeah, well done. Fantastic. Well done. Thank you so much for your time. Thank God bless. You. Thank you, you too. Bye. 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 Thanks for taking time to listen to this audio on demand from Vision Christian Media. To find out more about us, go to vision.org.au.